So in this case, uh, everything is set up and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the collect button. Okay, so it's collected total flow now. I'm going to go ahead and make that big. And you can see that uh, over here on the left side, I have my uh, device ID and total flow is my flow measurement tube and here are the tabs by default we get uh, daily flow data and you can see it's per day and then um, we get uh, differential static temperature volume energy all the way out to uh, um, our high and low set points and uh, and so forth if we wanted to go to the next meter you have uh, previous and next meter so if we collected more than one we could move right and left there uh, the next one over log period looks the same way it gives me the log period records for 4 19 2010 and then I could get previous or next day previous or next meter and then I could also set that to, to output the graph if I look at the events this gives me um, time and date stamp event description old value new value and uh, uh, characteristic this kind of tells me how my meter was set up what the device ID was uh, what the location is uh, contract hour the, the date and time that it was collected all the way through some of the basic characteristic data like flow rate accumulated volume battery um, and so forth some of the settings and so we could screw scroll down here and, and show you some of these things okay then I'm going to jump over to daily flow detail and this would give me my alarms detected for the day, date and time stamp, uh, contract hour, and then uh, a daily summary, and then once again log period. So in this case it's every uh, 60 minutes or every hour, so I can scroll between the hours and it would give me the same information. And then I have a uh, uh, an added file here that was created in the report section of this tutorial, so um, we'll skip that one for now. I'm going to jump down to current values and show you the uh, um, trend file that was created. So this is the trend file that was created uh, uh, later in the tutorial. And so here is flow rate, temperature, differential static charger, and battery uh, on a graph. And then I can also view it based off of uh, the tabular data coming in. So now that this is collected, I'm going to go ahead and close out. And I'm going to go out to uh, the laptop file utilities. And that's uh, up here at the top. You should have a button. It says laptop file utility. Go ahead and open this one. And today I collected uh, total flow right here. And this was collected today, uh, 9 14 2010, 1406. And uh, this is going out and ref uh, referencing C colon backslash PCCU7 backslash PCCU data. So that's the, the folder that it was uh, in when we checked our directory paths. And so here, once I've highlighted it, I can view, I can output again, or I can build reports. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the view button and show you that. And so this looks exactly like uh, uh, what we saw immediately after it came back to the screen. So if you chose, if you didn't choose output to screen, you can browse out, find your laptop file, and go ahead and bring it in and view it the same way I'm doing here. Uh, also with outputs, if you um, wanted to send it to a spreadsheet and you hadn't checked that box you can go ahead and go out and grab your laptop file uh, and then uh, do this output to spreadsheet from here and then uh, put in your date range or all data and then say okay and that will send it off to a spreadsheet